Upbeat, mysterious music starts and then fades to a low background hum. Zero, zero. Hey, everyone. Let's talk about one of the biggest mysteries in the universe. You know how when you look up at the night sky, you see stars, galaxies, all this beautiful bright stuff? Well, for decades, scientists have known that what we see is only a tiny fraction of what s actually out there. There's an invisible something, a cosmic ghost that's holding galaxies together, making them spin way faster than they should. Without it, they'd just fly apart. Zero thirty. For the longest time, the leading explanation has been this stuff called dark matter. It's a hypothetical substance that doesn't interact with light, so we can't see it. But it has gravity. A lot of it. Like five times more than all the normal matter in the universe combined. It's the invisible cosmic glue. Row 55. But not everyone's on board with the dark matter train. There's a rival theory, and it's a pretty wild one. It's called MOND, which stands for Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or more broadly, Modified Gravity. This idea suggests that maybe there is no dark matter. Maybe we just don't understand gravity correctly. 119. The MOND theory says that Isaac Newton's laws of gravity, the ones we learn in school, are perfect for what we experience here on Earth, or even in our solar system. But on the vast cosmic scales of galaxies, maybe those laws break down. Mond proposes that at very, very low accelerations, like what a star feels at the edge of a galaxy, gravity is actually stronger than Newton predicted. If gravity is stronger on these scales, you don't need any extra. Invisible matter to explain why galaxies are spinning so fast. The stars are simply being held on to more tightly. It's an elegant idea, right? No need for a mysterious, undetectable substance. Just a tweak to a fundamental law of physics. 208. So for years, it's been this epic showdown. Dark matter versus modified gravity. Both theories have had their successes. Mond is surprisingly good at predicting the rotation of large spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way. But dark matter models, with the help of powerful computer simulations, can explain the large-scale structure of the entire universe. How galaxies form and cluster together into a cosmic web. It's been a scientific stalemate. 238. But recently, the tiniest, faintest galaxies in the universe have stepped into the ring to act as tiebreakers. I'm talking about dwarf galaxies. These are the little guys, the runts of the galactic litter. They have very few stars and are incredibly faint, but they're absolutely swarming with, well, something. 302. Here's the crucial part. A recent incredibly detailed study looked at one of these dwarf galaxies, a little puff of stars called Fornax 2. What scientists found was fascinating. The stars inside this tiny galaxy weren't moving in a nice, orderly, predictable way. They were all over the place, a chaotic jumble. 